Oh my God, that was the first scoop. What did I just catch? We caught something bigger, dude. Oh my God, we got a stun. I did not expect to catch one of these guys today. I think that is a baby anglerfish. He's swimming a total. He's a, looks like a speed demon when he's swimming like that. What's going on, fish guys? Hope everyone's having a good day. We're starting here at uh, at Jack's house, actually. Surprisingly, we're not doing an intro at the fish guy Chris' house. Of course, we got the crazy dog with the stick. He always wants to play with this stick. You know, we get we get this guy a million toys like this, but he chooses this instead of the toys. I'm not sure why. What's your problem, bro? Go get it. Crazy, crazy dog. But I did come to do a quick checkup on the Emperor Snapper in Jack's Pond with the tent over it. So the sun doesn't hit it. And it's pretty chilly, so maybe the sun should hit it. It's loud in here. Whoa, what's going on, boys? Here's the pond. That is a loud filter right now. But we're gonna check on that. Oh, see, look, he's doing great. I haven't checked on this guy in a long time. And he is doing great in here. He's actually just absolutely chilling. I don't wanna get my hand wet. Now, as you can see, the Emperor Snapper is in his uh, isolation cage because we don't want him to eat everything in this pond. He's been in there for about a week or so, a couple weeks now. It's been uh, it's been crazy moving all the fish around, all the different ponds that had to be breaking down and set up and then breaking down again. But thankfully, the Emperor Snapper is chilling in there. The sharks and the stingrays all gather around the cage. They, they seem to be uh, becoming friends with the Emperor Snapper, but I'm definitely scared that if he uh, was not in that cage, he probably would eat the stingray, eat the sharks, because he's an absolute savage. So just a couple more, maybe another week, hopefully less, maybe another two weeks, hopefully less uh, of him actually in Jack pond that we can bring him home once we set everything up so we shall see cross your fingers he's doing great though jack fed him yesterday already eating you can tell that the morale is down he's not as jumpy he's not as happy he'll be happy when we get him back in his pond so he's still kind of he's not coming up to the surface dancing on top he wants to go home hopefully soon we can bring him home this is always one of the funner parts of the day breaking out this right there. And I'll tell you why right now, because of this guy right here that you guys can barely see. Come on, can you see him in the camera? I can see him right there. That guy right there. I'm telling you guys, there's a couple fish that have turned into koi. Okay, so we have our Indo-Pacific tarpon in here. He's a glorified koi fish now. And we have turned this Florida gar, this big old Florida gar that we caught into a koi fish. You know why? Because he eats pellets. Watch this. Just watch this right here. We're gonna take some pellets. We're gonna drop him right on this. Oh, where'd he go? Right here. I'm just gonna put him right here and let's watch this gar. Watch this gar. I've never seen Seen anything like it before so the pellets are there and you're gonna see whoa first he had to get that out of the way okay cool let's throw some more okay the tarpon's gonna ruin it, everything throw some bunch of pellets in there and get everyone out of the way where's the gar we got everyone absolutely grubbing here the koi rami's getting a lot more friendly he's up close to us now he's not scared in the back like he was all the time he's up and at him but i really want to see that gar eat there he is there he is watch this watch this eating pellets literally he just ate a pellet i think he's scared because i have the camera right here but this gar loves eating pellets the fish are all thriving including the gar all the kois rami's on a next level glow up right now honestly next level this guy is out of his mind he's the best he's the freaking best i freaking love this fish that is a giant garami. I wonder how old this fish actually is because obviously when they start out, they're like that big. So getting that big as a garami is quite special. So shout out to garami. Shout out to Rami the garami. Here's the gar. Come on, eat a pellet. Eat a pellet. Eat a pellet. Come on, eat a pellet. Nah, he's scared. He's scared of the camera. He's camera shy. Come on, eat one. The koi's all over him. He's coming back for more. There he goes. Let's go. Dude, I'm telling you right now, this is a glorified koi fish, dude. That is not a gar. I'm telling you, every fish we put in this pond, they turn into kois. The kois teach them how to be one of them, okay? And I'm glad that they're accepting of all different fish shapes and sizes because the koi could e easily turn on them and be like, no, you're not a part of the crew. But the, the gar is a part of the, of the koi family. I'll tell you that right now. Absolutely electric. We got a koi tarpon, indo, and a uh, koi gar. You never know, man. So definitely glad I updated you guys on the fish. Emperor Snapper's doing fine back there obviously this pond is thriving but that was the main thing you guys hadn't seen him in a long time so we got him out of the way you guys know he's doing fine well he's doing fine exactly it's not doing great because he's in the cage i want to get him out of there break him out of jail but for now that's the way we're gonna have to keep him in order to keep him alive or we could you know find a new home for him all right you want to use this let's try using the toy won't even go for the toy he will only go for the stick I can't even throw that thing very far, bro. Crazy. So, little update on those guys. Now I'm thinking we're gonna net some fish and hopefully catch some really small, like awesome looking damsels, stuff like that for the new saltwater pond or new saltwater tank we just set up. You never know what we can net. Sometimes you catch, sometimes you don't. But let's see if we can catch some awesome stuff. One of my favorite spots for our brand new saltwater tank. We have made it to our spot. We've made it to our destination. Had to do a wardrobe change because it is freaking freezing out here. I mean, the wind is blowing like crazy. Like literally, there's trees that have fallen down. I was here like two days ago or yesterday and there was no tree falling but over there see that tree 
totally fell over. So it has been windy as all hell. You can tell, you know, winters in Florida are not fun. It's not hot all the time here, okay? It's cold, I'm freezing, I got my jacket on. The water is choppy as ever, it is super windy, but the fish are out. And it's crazy, because this spot is one of the best spots ever. You can catch anything here, especially, you know, different times of the year, there's different things around. There's, you know, octopus all over the place, eels, a lot of cool fish swimming around. There's always a ton of stuff you can catch anywhere in Florida, but this is one of our favorite spots so you can catch a variety of different stuff. Look, it's so choppy, the water is coming over the seawall. That's great. Now my goal actually today is to catch one of the hardest things in the world to catch, the baby Sarge Major. I've caught them before with my net, which I did bring, but they are so wicked fast. It's insane. Fastest, smartest damn fish ever. If they see you over the top of them with the net, they're not gonna come up to the surface. They, uh, you know, you think they're just swimming around, hanging out, they don't know what a, what a human is, but they know, they know. They swim to the bottom. It's like a Nemo when they uh, go in the net, everything swims down to the bottom. That's these damn Sergeant Majors, they're so hard to catch. So that's our goal today is to catch those microscopic fish that we can add to the saltwater tank that we just set up, but it's hit or miss. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. They are so wicked fast, it's insane. But uh, good thing is along this seawall here, it's a little high tide, so I can't usually catch them over there. That's where I usually catch them. Along this wall, the fish like to hang out right along this wall here, even like over here and down over there. So if I can get over there with my net, we will be able to catch them. But it's a solo mission today, so we're gonna have to uh, do the best we can. Check out the net we're using today. I'm not going wooden, I'm going metal extendo version. And I'm wearing my new shoes, but I don't wanna get wet, so that's another problem. But let's be honest, they're probably gonna get wet. Let's get over here to this rock. Oh my God, what do you know? I always check this little tide pool for what's in here. There's always crabs in here. I don't think this guy's alive. Every time I look in this tide pool, there's always a crab and he's always dead. So I don't think this guy's alive. Probably a molt or something, yeah. I swear, every time we film a video here, there's always a damn dead crab in this little puddle here. Why do they keep going in here to die? There he is, he's like a leucistic. Could have been a rare crab, most likely just a molt. But I swear there's always always a crab in a little pocket. But we have our net all along these rocks here. The fish like to hang out. So I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna scoop up as much as I can, even maybe go down there if I can while, while staying dry. But right along these wall, I already see some sergeant majors, some small ones hanging out, waiting to get scooped up and waiting to get brought back to the uh, to the new tank. I'm super pumped about that new tank. It's sick. And what's a better first fish than a sergeant major? Oh my God, that was the first scoop. What did I just catch? <laughs> what did I just catch? What are these things? I'm gonna put them in the bucket right now, actually, because I don't know what they are and I wanna get a better look at them. First scoop, I don't even know what I just caught. Wow, I just set the camera up to like get a bunch of clips of me like scooping because I didn't think I was gonna catch on the first one. <laughs> Off rip, dude, there's a little fish everywhere. All right, now before we see what I just caught, I'm gonna do one more scoop because there's a lot of fish right here. So I'm gonna do one more scoop. Oh my God, we caught something bigger. <laughs> We got something bigger, dude, a grunt. Let's go. Two for two on the scoops already. I did not expect that at all. Let's go. Two for two on the scoops already. Let's get this big guy out of the way already. This is the second fish we caught. I'll show you guys all the little ones that I don't know what they are in a second. This guy right here, these guys are always up along the wall, especially during high tide like it is right now. Classic little grunt. This isn't a yellow stripe grunt. This is like a brown striper. Super frisky, pretty big. This guy is not gonna be going in the tank. He's a little bit too big. He may be able to go with the sharks. The sharks might actually wanna eat this guy. They're really in the mood for some fresh fish. So we might bring him back home. Still pretty big. He's pretty much the size of my hand here. Decent sized fish for us scoop. The fish are sleeping right now. They're lethargic because it's nice and cold. So they're just sitting in the uh, along the seawall and they don't know, they don't expect a big net coming. This is the first catch. These guys are caught on the first swipe. What are these? They're not glass minnows, but what is that little fish there? I have no idea. Those are sick. I actually, they might be different kind of little glass minnow type things right there. If we can zoom in, we can identify these species down in the comments below. Comment down below what kind of fish that is. It's definitely some kind of minnow. It's definitely some kind of minnow. And we caught a couple of them. We caught a about, I don't know, seven of them on the first swipe. Pretty sweet. Those might be good additions to the pond right there. I'll decide if I'm gonna keep those in a second though. Let's keep swiping. I think they found out. I think they found out and told their friends to leave the area. Now I am trying to go a little bit deeper with this net, kind of out towards those rocks, because that, that's where the, sar the baby sergeant majors are, the little damsels. Those are the guys, those are the guys that we're after, because they're colorful and they're cool for the tank. So those are the kind of the guys we're after right now. The first couple fish I caught, a little bit duller in color, but I'm trying to get this uh, damn net out a little bit deeper, catch those sergeant majors, because I know they're there. I see that. It's just hard to catch these guys when they know you're here and they're so deep. They love sitting by that big rock out there, and I really don't want to get my shoes wet. So uh, we're gonna keep trying this wall. Let's go a little bit deeper out to 
this section over here. See what's lurking about on this corner. I cannot believe the first net I did, the first two scoops I did, I caught fish, especially the first one, right off rip to catch those little guys. That was actually lit. So we're gonna keep trying. I see all the Sergeant Majors out by that piling, but it's so windy. The water is so choppy here. It's actually nuts. Super crystal clear blue, but it is choppy as ever. I'm scared the camera's gonna blow into the water. That's how windy it is. I'm trying down here by this wall. They love hanging out over here. Whoa, almost just lost my hat. It is so windy. I think a storm's a brewing, not gonna lie. Oh my God, we got a stud. I did not expect to catch one of these guys today. It is so windy, dude. Oh, ah, dude, I wanna put this guy in the tank, but he's too big. He's so big. These guys are always sitting by the wall, whether it's uh, warm, cold, windy or not, they're always sitting by the wall, swimming around like crazy, eating the algae off the wall. They're so easy to catch, but they are some of the prettiest fish ever. So hard to hold though. These guys right here, we always catch these dudes. So pretty. Look at that right there. That is a, uh, some sort of wrasse. I'm not sure exactly. Probably called a rainbow wrasse, I would guess. If I had to guess on my life, I would call this guy a rainbow wrasse. Super cool. Every color in the rainbow on that fish right there. So pretty, so cool. But when you put them in a tank, they always just bury themselves in the sand and they are super slippery. So they like to hide a lot and they always bury themselves right in the sand. So you can barely enjoy them unless they're super comfortable, but they love, uh, they literally will go fully submerged in the sand. So not the best for a tank. If he was smaller, I'd definitely probably keep him, but he's a little bit big. He's on the bigger side, definitely bigger than that grunt we caught. And uh, I'm gonna let him go in the back to the wild in the cold weather. So let's get this guy back in the water. Let's watch him swim off. Ready? Go enjoy Christmas, buddy. Oh my God, he disappeared in a second. The water is actually warm compared to the air. So that's when you know it's freezing here. Now that's a damn Christmas fish if I've ever seen one. Green and red, straight Christmas. I had to go forward hat and put a hoodie on because my hat was flying off. Literally almost lost it like six times in the water. That's how windy it is. There's a big storm of brewing right here. I think it's, I just got an alert on my phone that it may rain. So I'm definitely gonna give it a couple more swipes, but it's gonna, it's gonna get down and storming. I think I'm actually gonna be posting this video on Christmas Eve or on Christmas day. Hope you guys are having a good Christmas Eve. Go party with the family. Take a couple shots for me. Have a nice stiff. I'm, I don't know, I'm feeling the Moscow mules this season. Have a nice Moscow mule for me. All right, so enjoy some time with your family and nothing beats spending time with the fam. Christmas Eve especially, it's like amazing. I, spending time with the family, cherish every moment with them because you never know, life is short and uh, it's good times all around. Smile, laugh, play some games, have a freaking blast for Fish Guy Chris. I hope you guys are having a good one. So hopefully it's not this crappy where you're living, but hopefully we can catch some more fish before we take them back home to uh, to the tank. Hopefully we get some good ones. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep netting around, but we've already caught a grunt of freaking Christmas tree wrasse and now hopefully we can get some uh, baby sergeant majors but those things are wicked wizards the wicked wizards of the west those are sergeant majors i'm trying the little tide pool area sorry for our friend mr krabs here but he didn't make it put him back in the ocean where he belongs later buddy i'm 90 percent sure that that's just a molt so we're all good i'm gonna try scooping up over here though see if anything's around i actually do see some fish especially by the seaweed anytime there's seaweed you can actually scoop the seaweed with it you're gonna get some stuff living inside there little tiny shrimp jack i think has caught a sargasm of anglerfish before in the seaweed which was absolutely Absolutely sick. So let's try not to get the shoes wet here. Up on this rock seems safe. What is that? False alarm. I'm like a bird right now, dude. You have to be stealthy. Stealthy like a bird when you're doing this, I'm telling you. Sometimes you get lucky and you catch a nice fish like we just did. Now this is what I mean, guys. I just netted up all this seaweed here and we have a couple different things living in this, okay? We have this fish right here, which I don't know, this might be a little baby angler. Like, I'm not even kidding. This little guy right here might be a little baby, I think it is. I think that is a baby angler fish. I'm not even kidding you right now. I'm not even joking. That might be a baby angler fish. We have a crab creepy crawl in it right now. I'm gonna get the bucket. I'm probably gonna end up putting all these guys back, but I'm just gonna get the bucket to keep them alive right now. And we gotta see what, I think that's a baby angler. I think that's a baby angler fish, dude. I'm not even joking, dude. I was just talking about that. That is so weird. Here's a crab. Here's a crazy looking crab right there. This guy is pretty wicked looking. He's definitely feisty. Very cool crab, but he's not, he, this isn't sargasm. This is like dried up like logs and sticks. But that goes to show you that they like to live on structure. They absolutely love structure. And this crab is a little beast. So we're gonna put him on this log here. We're gonna let this log go, this whole log. I'm gonna let you go with the log. Goodbye, go find that, that log. Okay, so let's see what else is living in here. If there was one of those, there could be 
see many. Okay, nothing in that, so we let that go back in the water. I cannot believe that we actually just caught that. That is literally actually nuts. I think that's it. I think there's only two things in this. Yeah, only two things. What are the chances, dude? What are the chances? This isn't even real sargasm. This was like the last minute, like, clutch effort. I just scooped up a bunch of sticks to see what was in there. And what do you know? Look at that right there. He is sitting around and swimming just like a little baby sargasm anglerfish would be. Am I right or am I tripping? I need a, I need, I wish I had the big camera lens so we can zoom in a lot faster on this guy to see what that is, but I'm 90% sure. Could be like a little hawkfish kind of thing though. I have no idea. We're gonna scoop him up again and see if we can get a good look at him. Honestly, this grunt, I'm done with this grunt. I'm done with him. He's, he's making everything stressed in here. You're going home, buddy. Oh my God, wicked fast. Ow! You're stressing out my little dude that I just caught in the sargasm. Everyone say goodbye to Mr. Grunt. Get out of here. This is the guy I really want to check out. This thing is crazy. Look at this little dude. I can't even tell the lighting is so bad. I think that might be a little baby one, dude. A little sargasm ang. That is absolutely sick. That is absolutely sick. Is it though? I have no idea. When you put him in the water, he kind of flares up like he is one though, with those fins like that. We're gonna have to do some further investigation. It's getting really windy right now. And I'm gonna try to put that other camera lens on. The storm is coming. We have finally made it home. The storm came, the wind came, the trees were flowing everywhere. I thought I was gonna get flown into the water. Thank God, we're fine, we made it. But we have our bucket of fish here and I got the long camera lens on. You guys can zoom in to that thing right there. That is a full blown frogfish. 100% confirmed. You see, he's got like a little uh, antenna on the top of his head there. That is 100% one of those sargasm like anglerfish, frogfish type deals. Absolutely sick get. I cannot believe I caught that. I was just randomly just messing around with the sargasm and boom, we got the sargasm frogfish. So dang cool. And we got some minnows. So we're gonna just put a couple minnows in. I do wanna watch this guy in this, in this thing here so you guys can see him from the side though. So make my incision. Get in there, buddy. Go ahead. Oh my God, he actually went in. Let's go, let's go. Now check this thing out from the side. Where are you, buddy? Rousey, Rousey. This is fish time, not dog time. Get out of here. Thank you. Look at that thing. I wish I had the smaller tank set up right here because I would totally put him in there. But this dude right here is a little freaking angler, a little frogfish. So crazy, dude. That's the smallest one I've ever seen. It's a little smaller than my fingernail size. So tiny, but so freaking cute. I love him. We're gonna name him uh, Timmy. As of right now, his name's Timmy, but drop comments down below of what you guys think we should name this guy. He's gonna be the first and only thing going in this tank right now, besides those minnows that he may end up eating, which will be great. But this guy, I don't know how long uh, I'm gonna keep him in that tank for. Probably not super long, because uh, once we add fish, I'm probably gonna get him out, either get him his own tank, or maybe Jack has a spot for him. But this thing is super cute. And maybe if we set up that tank right there, it'll be a perfect uh, little combo for him. So you guys let me know in the comments if you guys think I should definitely keep him, whether it's a small tank or uh, get another tank for him. Maybe we'll get a tiny little tiny tank for him, like a super, super small one, because that is a small freaking fish. Let's get this guy in the tank. Come here, little buddy. Don't be afraid. I don't want to squish him. Come here, Tim. Low key, this guy's got wheels. Look at this dude. Look at that little dude. See that little thing on the top there? He's a little baby frogfish. That's sick. It's so sick. Let's get him in. See ya, buddy. Where's he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? <laughs> Look at that freaking swimming. He's swimming a total 0.1 miles an hour, but he's a looks like a speed demon when he's swimming like that. Come on, get down to the bottom. I wanna see him go down to the rocks. This is so freaking dope. Go on, get down to those rocks, little Tim. Little Tim has no idea. This is the biggest tank for the smallest fish. So we're definitely gonna have to get him his own little setup here, his own little micro tank, because he is just way too small for this tank. So maybe in the future, we're gonna get him his own setup. But for right now, he's got an absolute mansion, an absolute mansion. Come on, I wanna see him go to a rock. Come on, Tim, go down to the bottom. Go down to the bottom. I think the black sand looks amazing. It freaking pops like crazy. Come on, Tim, let's go, go. He's made it. Oh, he didn't like the sand there. He's going to the rock. Dude, he's just floating around. I love it. I love him. He has no idea where to go. We're just gonna let him float around. He's he's clearly he's he wants to scope out the area before he settles down on a rock. So we're just gonna leave him be. He's found a nice patch of sand. There he goes. He's settling down. He's walking on the on the bottom of the sand. He's just so small. Little Tim. Freaking beast, I love him. Okay, perfect. That's a perfect first addition to the tank. Let's go, I'm hyped. Now these guys, these little minnows, I'm just gonna put a couple in there for Tim so that maybe he'll eat them. They're so small and we'll just put them in there for Tim. But they're lightning fast. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? It's gonna be a problem. Come on guys, I don't have a net. These minnows are so fast. All right, this is one, one minnow right here. Nope, he, he dipped. He's in the rocks? Where is he? Show him. Look at Tim in the rocks. He found a nice little cave, a little mini cave. For the man, the myth, the legend, Tim. What a freaking beast. I love that damn anglerfish. 
frogfish. Same difference, you know what I mean? Yeah, this should take me a, a, an hour or two to get these guys out. <sighs> okay, here's one minnow. I literally managed to get a single minnow, but this is big enough for Tim to eat, so. Hey, buddy! Okay, they're gonna all be at the top of the water. So, we're just gonna let them chill. I don't even know where he went. Did he disappear? He's totally gone. Okay. I don't even know if he's in the tank. Where'd he go? Couldn't tell you. We'll try to put one of the larger ones in. I only caught like five. It was the first swipe of the day. I only caught a couple, but man, was that a lucky, a lucky swipe. Okay, he's gonna come out the top. There he is. They all, they all hide at the top. I could not tell you where these fish go. They're gone. They're totally gone. That is strange. Honestly, whatever, who cares about the minnows? All we care about is Tiny Tim being an absolute beast. I love that freaking anglerfish. If I stayed longer, I saw a bunch of sargasm. I saw a bunch of seaweed all around the area right when I was leaving, right when it got super windy. And if I could have stayed longer, I probably would have stayed and just been swiping back and forth on that stuff. It would have been sick to see what else was living in there because we saw a crab, one scoop, a little patch of seaweed, little crab and Tiny Tim. So dope. Let me know in the comments if I drop a like on this video if you guys want me to go back to the place to check out the seaweed again, just do a a video only looking through the seaweed. We haven't done one of those in a while and we already found something really cool only by doing it a little bit. So I think we need to give it a whole video of looking through as much seaweed as possible. See if we can find some awesome stuff swimming around in there. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on Tiny Tim, but I think he might need his own tank. So let me know in the comments as well if you guys think I should do that. And if you haven't already, go click over here, watch that video from Fish Guy Chris and continue on the Fish Guy Chris journey. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.